Hey toy fans, I appreciate it. This is uh, Jedi Temple Toys back with a vintage Star Wars unboxing. So found a lot, a Kenner lot of figures that I bought and uh, they just came in the mail. So I'm pretty stoked to open them up and, you know, show them for the first time um, with you guys. Take a look at them myself. Remember, I have a Facebook page, Jedi Temple Toys. So if you could, you know, follow and like my uh, Facebook page and also like and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. And this is my second uh, video. My first video was some uh, carded GI Joes that I got. And I have those posted now on my uh, Mercari and eBay store. You can contact me here also if you're interested in any of those. But I, uh, I'm going to open up some vintage Star Wars and I'm pretty, pretty excited. As you see in the background, this is my this is my toy room slash office and uh, you know I'm all about the Kenner. So let's do a little unboxing action here. All right, guys. So here's my box that came in the mail, and I flipped it over. So in order to cover my address and everything, but it's a pretty awesomely big box of hopefully some vintage goodies. And there's my razor knife. We're going to go ahead and get this thing open here. Oh, well, razor knife's pretty darn dull here. So let me get it going here. And there we go. There's a good cut. All right, we got one end open over here. Trying to be careful not to damage the, the goods, huh? My camera work is, I need like a stand or a tripod. I'm very, very unprofessional at this point, but you know, it is what it is. There we go. Oh man, that's terrible. All right guys, I will get better at this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's get our box open here. So we got a little tape here. Come on, slide. And the problem is my box is so... My tape cutter is so dull. All right. Close that for safety. Yep. All right. Let's get into this thing here. All right. Looks like about the packing stuff. Some of that out. Packing stuff, packing stuff. Let's get the goodies. Alright, packing stuff. Ooh, yeah, there it is. There's one baggie. There's a second baggie. And there's your third baggie with a little paper on it. Let's get that off the Anything else in here? No, okay. So, put that junk off to the side. Let's take a look at these goodies. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. That's nice. It's just kind of sticky, but it's not tape. All right. All right, so we have... We're going to have to figure this out. What's in there? Let's see. You see Greedo? I see a Greedo, it looks like right there. It's that unmistakable Greedo green. Pull this off. There we go. Alright, let me go ahead and get all. You guys can get all of them kind of opened up a little bit. Alright, let's pull it off. There's the second one. There are no camera tricks, believe me. I can't even hold the camera straight, let alone actually have camera tricks going here. Let's see. Hmm. A little tape on that one. Not much. Oh man, this one might be my nemesis. Let's see. Oh, I might have to tear it. You know, it's funny is when I ship something out, I'll probably reuse some of this bubble wrap if it's still in decent shape. <laughs> Didn't realize bubble wrap was such a valuable commodity until I started selling toys. All right, we got three bags here. Three bags of goodies. Looks like a Bosk and a Bespin Luke. Ooh, I think I see a B-Wing pilot right there. And what's in here? Um, 
can't tell, there's an X-Wing Luke. There's a Admiral Akbar high rank. So not all these are supposed to be in the best shape. Some of them are supposed to be a little beat up. So let's just see what we got here. All right, bag one. Oh, this is going to be... Should we dump them? Yeah, let's dump them. Oh, all right, here we go. So we have a an Emperor. Looks nice, no paint rub on the nose. Look at the paint on the hands. That's a good looking emperor. All right, buddy. There you are. All right, we have a couple bonus items here. We have a fire roasting pit for for the um, Ewok village. And it looks like we have a Luke's backpack, the one he wears. It's got a little rip in it, but that's okay. Got a little tear in the top, but that's bonus materials. Let's see. We have a Hoth Commander, Rebel Commander. Doesn't look bad. All right. We have a Boss, or not Boss, sorry. Oh my gosh. I always think, how do they mess these up? Now I messed up. Dengar. We have a, oh my gosh. We have a purple-faced Lobot who has seen better days. We have a Luke who look looks like they cussed, tried to paint the visor. Look at that. I like the custom efforts here. See? Try to put a little silver on Luke. Maybe we can customize him and turn him into Dak or somebody we don't have. There's a prune face in his fatigues without his uh, coat. Here's a, a Bosk. Got a little damage under the chin here. What is that? Ooh, it looks like some... He's got some glitter. Look at that. Oh, let's see if we can focus that. Yeah, he's got glitter. Alright. We have a Forlom or Zuckus, depending on what term you use. I guess he's Zuckus according to Star Wars. World. And there's his buddy without his coat. Zuckus or Forlom, depending on what you say. Star Wars lore, he was Forlom in the Kenner line. There's Admiral Akbar, everybody's favorite. I have a trap. All right. What's going on with his boot down here? I think a little bit of dirt. I think we can fix that. And, ooh, there's a nice one. Got his, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. He's got his overcoat. He's got his armor. That's nice. All right. This is exciting. I promise you this is one of the most exciting things I've opened in a while. Because it's Kenner Star Wars. Running a toy store, I still have my favorites, right? They're my favorites. Let's see. Batch number two. We have a walrus man. We have a nice squid head with his cape. We have Greedo. It looks like Greedo's missing his ears. My original one was missing his little ears. That's funny. Let's see, that happened more than once. Cool, it happened more than once. Cool, we got a TIE Fighter Pilot. Nice. He might be added to my Imperial Army. I like to army build sometimes. There's another Forlorn Zuckus. Here's a Snaggletooth. Alright. There is a Gamorrean Guard. My favorite guys as a kid. Let's see. Here is a... Oh, look, a little more custom paint, I think. Here's a... Bespin Han. Looks like they got a little custom paint going on. A little silver. Here's an Imperial Commander. These are always my favorites. There's Nikto Skif Skifgard. Nice. There's a nice B-Wing pilot. Always love the Army Builders. Those are the ones I have a hard time selling. Alright. There's Ben Kenobi who looks like he's had some kind of facial shoes and here is a nice Gamorrean guard with a little bit of oh whoops silver paint or gold paint on his arm all right here's a cool Bespin security guard nice gold on him wow looks good doesn't it guys might be better than the one I have have to take a look at it and then we have everybody's favorite commando general Medine with a little black is that is the paint just stripped on that guess so never seen that before and we have a Jawa so I'll be interesting to see how these clean up once I get in a nice bath and then we have a 
power droid missing his uh, antenna. All right, we got one more to go, guys. Hang with me. One more baggie to go. Let's see what's in this goodie. Now I know from the eBay listing there was no, there's no like last 17 or last 15, whatever terminology you want to use. The official, whatever your official terminology for that uh, power of the force group is. Some say 17, some say 15. I say they're all awesome either way. Let's see in this last. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. All right, our last group here. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. Let's see. First, is, we have another emperor with a, another nice looking emperor. Look at that. All hand rub, but not bad. We have another forearm slash zuckus, whatever you want to call him. Nice armor. We have a Bespin Luke. A lot of people's favorite figures, right? Michael from Ret Retro Blasting really likes him. We have a another Bosk. We have a oh man, I love a Tuscan Raider. He's got his original. Oh yeah, he's got his little coat. That's nice. That'll go. That might be an army builder. We have a cloud car pilot. I always need a second cloud car pilot. I only had one. It'd be nice in my case standing next to it. If you guys want me to do a tour of my if you guys want me to do a tour of my display, let me know in the comments of all my toys. There's a Hoth Luke with a little note, more custom paint. Whoever had these really like that Luke. Cus a lot of people's favorite figures, right? Michael from Ret Retro Blasting really likes him. We have a another Bosk. We have a, oh man, I love a Tuscan Raider. He's got his original. Oh yeah, he's got his little coat. That's nice, that'll go. That might be an army builder. We have a cloud car pilot. I always need a second cloud car pilot. I only had one. It'd be nice in my case standing next to it. If you guys want me to do a tour of my display, let me know in the comments of all my toys. There's a Hoth Luke with a little note, more custom paint. Whoever had these really liked that custom paint look. There is a Neen Noom. The co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon on the Battle of Death Star 2. Here is a... Oh man, for a second, guys. For a second, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a hollow-tubed... Uh, the way the reflection hit a hollow-tubed Tusken Raider. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for one of those. But just a regular Tusken Raider with a little bit of um, Sharpie or marker. See that? Oh yeah, good detail there when we zoom in. The eyes look really cool on that sucker. Look, and... We have a Bib Fortuna. He's got his belt. That's pretty cool. He's got his cape. He's not bad. And last, we have another Power Droid. So, another Power Droid. So, that is, um, that's it, all of it. Let's show a picture. We've got a pretty good deal on these. And I'll go through them probably. Take a look, get them all cleaned up, get them a nice bath, and see if we can get them to a happy home through our toy store, Jedi Temple Toys. So, please like and subscribe to my videos. Um, please send me comments if you want, and let me know what you want to go over. I can review toys or keep doing unboxings. And uh, if you got toys to sell, hit me up. I'm always interested in buying, and you know. If you got something you're looking for, let me know. I might have it. I have a ton of stuff not listed on my eBay or Mercari store that's um, available for sale. Just hadn't been listed yet. So hit me up and I'll dig it out of the toy store archives and we'll get it over to your house. All right. Thanks again for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Jedi Temple Toys. Unboxing video. Jedi Temple Toys. May the toys be with you.